Hey everyone, in this tutorial today, I'm going to show you how to transfer a WordPress website from one host to another without using any special plugins. This is probably the uh, advanced way to do it, but it doesn't cost anything and it's quite easy. So let's get started. As you can see right now, I'm looking at the old website. So the old address where my website's sitting. And uh, what we need to do firstly is we need to copy the database and the files for this website so that we can transfer it to the new one. So the first thing you need to do in this tutorial, by the way, I'm going to be doing from a cPanel hosting service to another cPanel hosting service. So first thing we need to do is log into cPanel and we need to log into our old account. So the current website that we have and we need to download these files. So once you're logged into cPanel, go to your file manager, go to your public HTML folder and you need to create a zip file of the files in here. So in this case, the website is set up in a way that the WordPress uh, files are in a separate folder, but a lot of people have them all in just the, the parent folder, which is no problem. So you just need to copy absolutely everything except CGI bin, but I'm just gonna copy these two and I am going to compress them into a zip file. So once you compress them to a zip file, you just need to download the zip file and that's done. You've downloaded the file part of your website. Now you need to go into PHP My Admin and you need to download the database. So you can see the database here. We just go to export and click on uh, click on go. Now you can see the home zip file and the database SQL file. And that's all we need to do. So let's log out of this old web host and let's log into the new web host by uh, entering our new details. So the new website or web host is gonna be this and let's log into cPanel now. You'll notice if we go to the new website, there's nothing there. Or oh, actually there is something there. I'm just gonna delete all that stuff out of there just so it's uh, nice and clean. Okay, so if we go here, you'll notice we have nothing on this server and we want to firstly upload the old uh, sorry, the old website onto this server. So let's just go to upload and upload the zip file. So we'll just wait for this to upload, probably take a minute. Now that we have uploaded this zip file, if you go back to the file manager and extract the files into the folder, you can then delete the zip file. And then what we need to do is go back to our main dashboard and create a database. So let's create one called DB and let's create a user. We'll just call it admin and we'll just assign a secure password. So I've created the user now and then we just need to uh, create uh, assign the admin to the database. So just add all privileges. Beautiful. So make changes and that works fine. So now we have a database set up that's ready to use. I have copied the password just so I can set it up on WordPress. So if we go back into PHP My Admin now, you'll see a database here. Go into that database and click on import and we want to import the SQL file that we uh, downloaded from the old website. And then we just have to import that. You can save a SQL file as a zip file if you want, but this is a really tiny uh, SQL file, so it doesn't matter. Now that we've uploaded the SQL file, you'll notice that the database structure is here. Go into options and we need to change a couple of values here. Firstly, we need to change this to the new website address, which is mytestwebsite.com.au. You also need to change this one as well. So mytestwebsite.com.au. Um, now with, the, uh, with this particular website, as I said before, it's it's located on my test website forward slash home. So let's go back now and we will we will now add the database credentials to WordPress so that it can connect to the new database we just set up. So if we go back to the dashboard, go to file manager, go to public HTML and go into home and then go to your WP config file. Uh, and edit it and we want to change these database this database information to the new website so let's go to let's uh, set up the new database and we probably need to go back to our databases to see the name of it so it's my test we underscore DB so 
my test we underscore db and my test test we underscore admin and the password is here which I copied on the clipboard earlier and we'll save that and that's it if we refresh the page you should see the new website here now if we try and log in it may not work as you can see it comes up with that and that's because the permalink, permalinks need to be reset so to do that you just go to your website forward slash wp dash login dot php oops my bad because it's on a home folder we need to do home forward slash wp login dot php type your login and password and go to permalinks and click on save changes now one thing i didn't do with this website before which i'm going to do now is change the permalink so it uses pretty URLs as opposed to uh, just a standard get query like this so it just looks nicer and also what I'm going to do is I am going to go to general and make the actual home address mytestwebsite.com.au without oops without the home in it and we'll just save that and let's call it my new website and we'll save that again so if we log out now and we go to mytestwebsite.com.au, the new website is there. All the links are working fine. And also if we go to forward slash login, the login should work. And that's all you need to do to transfer from one to another without any plugin at all. If you have any questions below, please ask, but I hope that's helped and have a lovely day.